Hi, my name is Syed Abidi, and you're watching the first part of a two-part video on the insulation resistance test, also commonly referred to as the IR test. Okay, so the IR test is very similar in nature to the DC withstand test or the DC high pot test. A voltage potential commonly between 500 to 1000 volts is dropped across the insulation and that results in a charging current that flows from the IR tester to charge up the product's insulation. Once the capacitance of the product's insulation is uh, fully charged, the only current that flows in the circuit is due to the resistance of the product's insulation. And this is called the real current, and this is very small in value. The IR tester then uses this small real current value to calculate back the resistance of the product's insulation. And this resistance is displayed as a quantifiable value, usually in the range of mega ohms. Now, the IR test is not a very commonly required test per the test standards due to it being very similar in nature to the high pod test. Most common applications of IR tests are for repaired equipment or motor industry where uh, the windings and the insulation of the windings of the motor is tested using the IR test. Most test standards require an IR test to be performed between at, at 500 volts to 1000 volts for at least one minute and the resistance of the product's insulation shall not fall below anywhere between one to four mega ohms. Okay, so thanks for watching the first part of uh, our video on insulation resistance test. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We will now move to our lab and show you how an insulation resistance test is performed on an actual product in part two of this video.